What's up, you guys? It's your fellow extra tech peep here, Miguel, covering how to find your rhythm with your other extra tech partners or even co workers at your job. So, this is depending on where you work. I work at a level three trauma center, one other tech that's with me. You kind of get into the rhythm of how you do stuff. And once you get in your groove and you're becoming more proficient and you get the job done more fit you kind of see what's each tech they're like more better at stuff like that for instance for me i notice that i'm closer to the door at our hospital where our portable is i'm like if i get up and i walk out and i would just wait and let the other dude come in, turn on the portable machine, get everything ready. I'm like, well, that's like 30 seconds to a minute that I could have been done more faster if I just hop on it and get everything ready. And he just heads on to the room and gets everything, moves table or talks to the patient and gets it. So I just had to come in and boom. He has more experience than I do. Sometimes I have a like setting the board for a chest x-ray portable. Depending on the patient, I won't have his best judgment as he does because he's been doing it longer. And I, like, he'll be doing it more efficient. And I'm like, I'll just come in, boom, throw the, the, the tube, set it up. And he just like, there's certain stuff, or I won't catch maybe that the patient had like certain stuff will show up and I think it won't and then we'll have to repeat it. So you kind of get in the groove of how stuff can be more proficient and how you could do more faster. For instance, if we go shoot a trauma and there's a trauma bed, I struggle so bad because there's a good gap in the tube angle and all that. It throws it off most of the time. So if we go together, I know for a fact if it's if it's just a regular trauma and there ain't nothing to hurry about, I'll do it. But if I know it's like some life or death, you best you better get it on that first shot. Because the doctors were like, you have no time for error. I'm going to let him do it. Like, not to be disrespectful to myself. But I know for a fact that the chances of him messing not messing up will be way less. And we'll be able to save this life and, like, increase pain here. Sometimes you got to know where your weaknesses and strength is. So you kind of, you know, got to gotta see it like that. And like, for instance, like I know for a fact, if it's like someone who doesn't speak English, I'll just go in and talk and try to make it easier on us because I know how to speak Spanish. So I can like tell the patient what we need them to do and it helps the workflow and stuff like that. And yeah, that's the main coverage I have on that. Yeah, see you in the next one.